Hi, I'm Sabrina Fry, and today I am going to talk to you about prepping your surface. And here we are going to show you how I created this whale piece called Nigel. And this piece was created on a repurposed cabinet door that had a glossy surface on it. And so I needed to sand um, and roughen up the surface. That way, everything I needed to do with it would stick. <clears throat> but I didn't want to sand the whole piece because I wanted to keep the original background uh, to use um, as the background on the piece. So here I used a just a small hand sander that I have um, that allows me a lot of flexibility. And I only sanded the areas that I needed to, um, to keep rough. And the reason that we're doing this is because um, on any surface, even if it's wood, um, you need to prep the surface and you need to make it want to adhere to whatever you're going to stick to it. So we're going to be gluing beads onto this, but we're going to be painting it first. And we want to make sure that the beads and or the paint do not come off. So here I am drawing um, my whale on there, Nigel. Um, just give myself some guidelines on where to be adding the paint. Here I am adding the outline to contain the beads. I will be using seed beads here and I need um, a way to kind of keep them in place uh, where I need them. So that's what these black outlines are for. And they're also going to kind of guide me on where I need to paint everything. So um, here I'm putting the white on and if this were wood I would use a primer. <clears throat> for the wood here it didn't really matter. Yes I do screw up as you can see here. Um, and with the black, it's easy because I can always take a Sharpie to it later and, and kind of fix that up. But um, I'm just putting white down where the white beads are going to go because I want them to be starkly white. I don't want them to have any variation in color. And then in a few minutes, I'm going to be adding the black as well. You can see where I put the gray on the bottom. The bottom part uh, is going to actually have flat bugle beads that are clear. So I added the dark gray to the area that I want to be a little bit darker um, for the resembling the water. But the whale itself needs to be a very, um, very solid black and solid white. And that's why the paint underneath is important. But um, the main thing here is to make sure that you take the time to sand and prep your surface. If you need to put primer down and then uh, add your lines on top of the primer, do that. Um, it takes extra time and I know you're anxious to get started on your project, but it is well worth it in the end when things don't start falling off or coming off of your camp. Another thing you want to make sure that you do is after you paint it, leave plenty of time for the paint to dry. Um, sometimes I just leave it overnight. I live in a humid environment now, so um, in the summers it can take a day for something to fully dry. Uh, you don't want to be adding a watery glue mixture to this if the paint is not dry because it'll bleed into your glue mixture and it'll fog up your glue, which is going to change the color of your beads. So it's really, really important that I usually uh, paint something like this and then I set it aside and I'll leave it overnight. And then in the morning I know that it's completely ready for me to do um, and to use and that I'm not going to be running into issues. If you decide to color and paint the areas underneath with marker, um, I recommend Sharpie because it doesn't bleed when it dries, but it still needs drying time. Uh, here you're going to see Nigel complete it, and um, he turned out beautifully. The, um, the prep work that I did ahead of time was well worth it. So here's some details of that black and white and how beautifully stark they came out. And here's Nigel in his entirety. Thanks for joining me.